everyone. So today I wanted to come on here and share with you my favorite beauty products from 2017. And I'll also include some lifestyle favorites as well. Um, I know that it's almost the end of January, but I just wanted to make sure that I got this video up because these things are too good not to share. Um, these are just things that I have been loving throughout the whole year and kind of like my holy grail makeup products. So if you want to see what my favorite products are, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I'm kind of just going to go category by category. First, I'm going to start with like my favorite face products, and I'm going to go in like the order that I would do my makeup. So as for primers, I always use a primer before I put on my foundation. I just have really oily skin, really large pores, and I just find that using a primer helps my foundation stay on so much longer, and it kind of minimizes the appearance of my pores. So it's super important for me to use a primer. My favorite has been my favorite for years, honestly. I'm not sure if I've shared this product with you guys in the past, but it is the Benefit Professional. Um, and I just buy the little mini tubes that you can get when you're checking out at Sephora because they're like a lot cheaper. And uh, I just like to save money here and there. But this little thing actually lasts you quite a long time because you only need like one little drop and it covers your whole face. And a plus for this product, it smells really, really good when you put it on. And it just kind of creates a blank canvas for you to go ahead and put on your foundation. So for foundation, I have two different ones. One's kind of higher end and one's a drugstore foundation. Um, this year, I think actually at the end of 2016, I wanted to try a new foundation. And so I tried the Smashbox Studio Skin Foundation. This bottle is completely empty and it looks really weird, so I'm sorry about that, but I wanted to keep it for this video. Um, the Smashbox Studio Skin Foundation, it says 15 hour wear hydrating foundation. And I am in the color 2.15. I loved this foundation. Number one, I always love when the packaging has a little pump like this. It makes the application so much easier. Um, but yeah, I just have great things to say about this foundation. I am someone who, I have very oily skin as I was telling you. And I also have a lot of redness and just uneven skin tone, breakouts from time to time that I want to cover up. So I find that this really does cover up everything really nicely. And um, the good thing about this versus the drugstore one that I'm about to show you, I just feel like it kind of makes my face look more, um, what's the word? It just makes it look more flawless. Like there's not as many imperfections on your skin, even though there really might be. This just kind of, I don't know, almost just minimizes those effects, if that makes any sense. So I really like this. I apply it with a damp beauty blender and I think it goes on really, really nicely. Um, and yeah, I just love it. I will probably repurchase this in the future, but I kind of want to try the Fenty foundation next. So let me know if you know anything about that foundation uh, and let me know in the comments. So as for my drugstore foundation, this is kind of what I use when I ran out of this. And I've always, always loved this. It's the CoverGirl 3-in-1 foundation. I think I've talked about this like for years. Um, it also has SPF 20 in it, which I'm a big fan of. Um, I'm in the color 842 medium beige. Again, CoverGirl did a great job by including a pump. I think that is a must have for a foundation. Um, but yeah, I really like this. Again, it's full coverage. The only thing that I have to say about this foundation, it does make me look a bit cakey, especially if I'm having a bad skin day. A lot of times like right through here and on my nose, it kind of looks like it starts to separate. And um, I'm actually wearing it right now, and it's kind of later in the day, so my makeup's starting to wear off. And that's the part that I notice first. It starts to kind of break apart, and um, it looks a little cakey. But if you are looking for something that's more affordable, um, I would definitely recommend it. Okay, so then for concealer, I think this one is kind of, at least everyone that I've watched, a lot of people love this concealer, and I definitely know why. It is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And I don't even really wear concealer every single day. I find that my foundation usually does a good job at like covering everything I need it to cover. But once in a while, I like to pop this under my under eyes just to give me some brightness. And I really love it. I have it in the color Light Neutral. And sometimes, you know, if I have breakouts, I'll put it on there too. And I just find that, I don't know, it's really blendable. It doesn't really crease under your eyes or anything like that. I just think it's a great formula. And um, I can't remember how much it was, if it was kind of on the more expensive side of things. Because um, I, I know a lot of people like the NARS concealer or the Urban Decay Naked Skin or something like that. I know there's an Urban Decay one that kind of rivals this. 
but this one is definitely my favorite and I would totally suggest that you go check it out. Now to set all of my makeup, my favorite powder, again I think this is kind of like a cult favorite, it is the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. This stuff is no joke. Um, I really find that, like I said, I have kind of larger pores. I feel like this really does a good job at just kind of minimizing the appearance of my pores. And it just sets everything so nicely. And once in a while, like I'll feel my skin right after I use it. And I'm like, my skin just feels so much softer. Um, and I like this because some translucent powders, you guys, I don't know if you've ever had this happen, but it's so embarrassing. <laughs> So I tried the IT Cosmetics translucent powder before and I put it like, you know, I baked it under my eyes like that's the big thing to do nowadays. And <laughs> it looked fine in person and then I had some flash photography done at night and um, the picture was posted on the internet and I had that flashback that you can get under your eyes. and. <laughs> Like on the picture, it showed every ounce of that powder under my eyes that I looked like, I just looked like a freak, honestly. It was not a good look and I had to like track down the photographer um, on the internet and try to like email him and be like, hey, you need to take this down immediately. This was like not supposed, that's not how I looked like in person basically and I was like, total makeup mishap. I was seriously mortified when I saw that picture. And so I like edited it and then I was like, here, you can post this one, but take that down immediately. So this one, I have noticed you don't have that problem. It's definitely not like a super, super white cast. It's more of like a natural color. Um, and I think they do have a darker shade. If you have darker skin, that might work better for you. Um, but yeah, great things to say about this. It's a lovely formula and it just goes on so beautifully. So I definitely know why it's like everyone's favorite. Okay, so now for a bronzer slash contour, I kind of use it for both. I use the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. It comes in this cute little gold packaging and um, this smells actually like chocolate. <laughs> if you smell it, it almost smells like those hot chocolate packets. So I really like that when I'm applying it because I'm a huge sucker for chocolate. But I like this. It's not like too warm of a bronzer and it's also not too ashy, but it's really, really good for contouring because it um, it's matte. It doesn't have any like sparkles or shimmers to it. So it's kind of multi-purpose. I feel like it warms up my face really nicely, gives me some dimension. So I definitely like it. This is like my second one that I've gotten and I will continue to purchase this. And I have the color Medium Deep in case you're wondering. Okay, so now for blush. Blush is something that I like to switch up. You know, I have a bunch of different blush colors that I'll just kind of switch up throughout the year. This one, though, I think I got this at Sephora, like, in the birthday gift that they give to you. It's just like a little mini tart blush. It's in the color Party. And um, I forgot how much I love these Amazonian clay blushes. I used to really like them a few years ago. Um, but then I got this for my birthday, and I was like, okay, that's cool. But I really, really like the color of it. It just kind of goes well for every day. It's like a nice, almost like mauve color. Um, and it's just, I don't know, I feel like it goes with a lot and it complements my skin tone nicely. And it's a matte blush, so I like matte blushes because it doesn't draw attention to my pores that I keep talking about. Um, and it just gives you a nice, subtle color. So I definitely like this. I don't know if it's a color in their permanent line, I have no idea because it was in their little birthday set, um, but I know that these blushes in general are great and they have a lot of color selections. Now moving on to eyeshadow, which is always my favorite part of doing my makeup. I have so many different eyeshadow palettes that it's kind of hard to choose a favorite, but one that I have definitely been grabbing like all year, I'm not even joking, I think I even use this like towards the end of 2016 as well. I've been obsessed with it ever since. And this is the Too Faced, this is the semi-sweet chocolate bar palette. So I actually have the regular chocolate bar palette, I have the sweet peach palette, and I think just those three. Um, I like them all. I really like the original one, probably just as much as this one, but I have to say that this one I have been using all year long. <laughs> So whenever I'm doing like my everyday makeup or I just don't want to think about my makeup, this is what I go to. I love the color selection in this. I'll cover the mirror so I don't blind you. But I really like the color selection in this. I use a lot of the neutral colors just for everyday, obviously. 
there's just like a lot of good cool tone browns and warm tone browns and there's like a nice highlight color and lid color so it's just really versatile for everyday wear and um, I just love it the colors are really really pigmented very good quality eyeshadows very blendable so I definitely have great things to say about all of the Too Faced um, chocolate bar palettes and like I have all of the Urban Decay Naked palettes and I, I still reach for these over those for some reason. So I definitely think these are good quality eyeshadows and yeah, I just love them. And I think these are super cute packages too. Again, like I love the Too Faced like chocolatey stuff. I'm a big fan of chocolate. <laughs> okay, so moving on with the eyes. Um, I like to wear a liquid eyeliner every day on the top of my eyelids. I don't really wear eyeliner on the bottom ever, I just use like an eyeshadow, a dark brown or something and just kind of put it on with a pencil brush on my lash line. But for my upper lash line, I love using a black liquid liner. This is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner and I love this because it's so easy to apply. <laughs> so it's just like a little pen or marker that you just like literally draw the line and you're done. It's so easy and you guys, I have always been bad at putting on liquid eyeliner until I got this and it just changed my life. Um, I also have the Stila one that's just like this, but I, I think this one's just easier to apply and it comes off like, I mean, they're both good with pigmentation, but for some reason, I, I just like the brush on this one a little bit better. I definitely find it easier to apply for some reason. I know that they're both really well-loved um, eyeliners, but definitely love the Kat Von D one a little bit more and I just get the color Trooper Black and it's waterproof, so that's cool. And yeah, it's just super easy. So if you have trouble applying liquid eyeliner to your top lash line, I would definitely give this a try, give it another shot, and you can totally do it, because this is like foolproof. My hair is bugging me so bad today, you guys. Just a little tip, like you should not be washing your hair every day, I don't know if you knew that or not, um, but like just give, it, give your hair a chance for like the natural oils to kind of go through it. Um, I have really, I don't want to say I have really oily hair, but I get an oily scalp kind of easily um, where my hair just gets greasy. I also have just very, very fine hair, so I think that's why it kind of affects it a little bit more. But oh my gosh, I washed my hair like every single day for the past like three or four days straight, and I usually never do that. But um, I haven't really meant to. I just kind of got in the shower and immediately put my head under and I'm like, wait, what am I doing? Like, this is bad. And now my hair is feeling so dry because of it and it's already like dry enough because it's like the winter time and I'm just not a fan. I also really need to get it cut. Like, it's long. But like, as you can see, like the ends, it gets really thin and it's just not a good look. So I really need a haircut. And let me know if you, I just like need suggestions because I don't really have anyone else to ask. Um, let me know what you think I should do like color wise. It's just kind of growing out. So it's like a natural ombre at this point, but um, yeah, I would appreciate your suggestions. Anyways, going back into the makeup. So um, my favorite mascara, this has been a favorite for years. I have always been someone who I get my mascara from the drugstore. I really don't think there's a need to get it from Sephora or Ulta or anything like that. I honestly find that drugstore mascara is just as good as anything you can get from those stores. And I've always felt that way. I have tried some of the like cult favorite um, mascaras and I'm just never impressed. So honestly, my favorite is just the CoverGirl Super Sizer Mascara. Love this stuff. I will cry if they ever discontinue it because I don't know, it just, I don't have the longest eyelashes, first of all, um, but it does make them look nice. It makes them like separated, you know, not clumped together. It just combs through them really nicely and, uh, you know, I could make them a little bit more full if I wanted to add a couple coats. I usually don't though because I'm lazy. But yeah, I really like this stuff and I really, like a big thing for me with mascaras is just the brush, like the shape of it. And you know, it kind of depends on your eye shape. So I just find that this one works really well for me. I accidentally bought the waterproof kind instead of the regular kind last time I was at the drugstore. And I was so mad because I could not get it off of my eyes one night. So I mean, if you're interested in a good waterproof mascara, I would recommend this. Um, I also just really need to get a good makeup remover because I didn't have anything and I was like, how do I get this off? But yeah, it's really good, nice and black, makes your lashes just look fuller. 
Now for eyebrows. <laughs> so I've been having kind of an eyebrow crisis lately. Um, I feel like in my last video my eyebrows were a hot mess. Um, if you can't tell, like one of my eyebrows is higher than the other. Like it's just my natural like shape of my face. Like the brow bone is higher. And so it always looks like my eyebrows are uneven and I, it just makes me so mad. <laughs> But anyways, um, I was using just a MAC eyeshadow for my eyebrows, like for the longest time. Um, but I just picked up a replacement of my Anastasia Brow Wiz. And I did use this earlier in the year, which is why I'm including it. I just ran out. Um, but I just got a new one today, and so I did my eyebrows. I think they look a little bit better, but I still need to work on them. But anyways, I love this. I feel like so many people love this. Um, it's so easy to apply. And if you apply it like with a thick hand and you make your eyebrows too crazy, I just love that it has this little brush end and you can comb it through and almost like erase what you did. Um, so I feel like it's pretty foolproof to apply for the most part. And I like the color medium brown. I just feel like it basically matches the color of my eyebrows. So yeah, I think I'll probably be using this for a really long time. Okay, so now for my second favorite category is lips. I really love doing my eyeshadow and I love putting on a lip color. So right now, I'm actually wearing this color. Um, it is the MAC lipstick in the color Velvet Teddy. Um, I just wanted to wear something neutral today. This is like always my go-to color if I don't know what to wear or, you know, it just kind of goes with everything and it's very wearable. It's a matte lipstick, so... But the thing with, like, usually I don't like super matte things, but it's not, like, over drying or anything like that. So, yeah. I love it so much. I will, like, once I run out of this, I will buy it again and again and again. It's definitely my favorite. And then I also, like, liquid lipsticks have been such a huge trend as well. I do like wearing liquid lipsticks, but I don't know about you guys. They can be so drying. And then after you wear them for a while, they start like cracking on your lips. Even if you like moisturize and exfoliate really, really well, like they just start to like crack. Or if you eat food, I find for me, maybe not everyone has this problem, but I find that like the inner rim of my lips like wears off, but then the whole rest of my lip is like staying strong. And I just feel like it makes me look like a crazy person and I just don't like it. So, I still want something that's long-lasting and kind of has the same effect as a liquid lipstick. So, I found these. They're the Bare Minerals, like their version of a liquid lipstick. I'm pretty sure that's how they're advertised. But I have to say, they're so much... I don't know what you would call it. They're like, they go on softer and like more velvety, maybe. Like, they're not over-drying. I'm sorry, this piece of hair won't stay back. Like, I hate my hair today. <laughs> But um, I just feel like I keep touching it and touching it. Um, but yeah, these are not over drying. They do stay on for a while. I'm not saying that they're like transfer proof because if you do drink out of a glass, like it's probably going to leave a little bit. But I don't care. I would rather deal with that than deal with something that I'm like constantly worried about. Like, oh my god, is it wearing off? Do I look like a crazy person? So, yeah, big fan of these this year. Like, I am so glad that I discovered these. I don't even really own anything else from Bare Minerals, but um, I was at Ulta one day and the girl who worked there actually, she had the same problem. She's like, don't go for that other stuff. Like really you need to try these. And so shout out to her, like that was pretty cool. Um, so I have the colors Ohm, it's just O-M. Um, I really like this. It's kind of like a brownish color. One thing I have to say is that the applicators on these are amazing. Such a soft application and like really easy to just glide it across your lips. I, I don't know what they did with their applicators, but they did a great job. So I love this. It's just a brown color, like I said, very neutral if I just kind of, you know, want something simple. And then I like this color as well. It's called Boss and it's more of like a pinky mauve color. So it's really pretty as well. Sometimes I even mix the two together and it makes a really nice pinky brown color, which is like my favorite kind of color. So that is that. Um, I feel like I had something else to say about that and I can't remember. I like 100% did. Oh, they have a really good color range as well. So I definitely want to try a lot more colors out. But so far these are the ones that I have and they are amazing. 
Okay, last item, and this is just a setting spray. I think setting sprays are really important. Um, especially if you have oily skin like me, your makeup tends to wear off a lot quicker than you would like it to. Um, it just starts to like melt off of your face, which is not cute. Um, so I've tried a lot of different setting sprays. I feel like they're all pretty good at what they do, um, but I really like the Urban Decay All Nighter currently. I've been using this for quite a while. This is actually like my second bottle. Um, I just feel like this does really make a difference. And also, sometimes when, you know, for me, like I use a lot of matte products, so I don't want my face to look super matte at the end of my makeup application. So I like to give it a little bit of life back when I'm done uh, by spraying this. And it just kind of helps the makeup like melt into your skin and just in a good way, like just kind of all become one together. Um, I just think it looks a lot nicer than if I don't use it. So highly recommend this, especially if you have oily skin. So those are all of the beauty products. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that, got some good recommendations. As for lifestyle favorites, I'm trying to think. So I really only have like a favorite TV show that I loved during 2017, and that is Breaking Bad. Like, I am obsessed. My boyfriend and I just binged it like so hard. We finished it in like, I feel like a month, a month and a half maybe. Like, I think there's five seasons and we watched all of it. We could not get enough, you guys. Like, it was so good. And I'm still to this day like really sad that it's over. We like just finished it right at the beginning of 2018. And um, I'm kind of having some withdrawals. And I didn't even think it was the type of show that I would like. I remember he suggested it and I'm like, okay, like I've heard a lot about it. I've heard it's a good show, but like I would have never chosen it to watch by myself, you know? Um, so I was kind of turned off about the idea of it. Um, you know, it's dealing with like meth and I was just like, I don't want to watch people doing meth. You know, that was kind of just my thoughts on it. Um, but anyways, it turned out to be a great show and I got super invested with all the characters. I freaking love Jesse so much. Tyler, if you're watching this, you know. Um, but anyways, my cat's right here, so I'm just gonna pet her. <laughs> Hi, Glo. She likes to cuddle with me and like sit on my lap. I love it so much. I love cuddly animals. So she's just gonna sit here for the rest of the video. Hi, baby. That's so sweet of you. <laughs> Anyway, so Breaking Bad, if you have not watched it, like seriously, go do yourself a favor and watch it. You will get so invested. And by the way, my boyfriend and I just took a little road trip for Christmas and New Year's. We like road tripped across the country pretty much and uh, we made a stop in Albuquerque and we got to see some of the filming locations which was seriously so amazing to see and uh, such a cool experience. So I posted some photos on my Instagram. If you're not following me, I have a link down below um, with my username. And yeah, it was just such a cool experience. Like if you have the chance to go through Albuquerque for whatever reason, like definitely check those out. So that was my favorite TV show. And then pretty much the only other thing that I kind of want to mention is my favorite music. And I am, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> so funny that she just did that. <laughs> She's such a curious cat. You're so cute, Clo. Guys, like filming in front of a, a light like this, it's so bright and hot and I'm wearing like the heaviest sweater ever right now. Like why am I wearing a Christmas sweater? I don't know. But anyway, so my favorite music from 2017, and it's gonna continue for the rest of 2018 as well, is Taylor Swift's new album, Reputation. Um, I am like a huge Taylor Swift fan, and I can't get enough of it. I keep watch or I keep listening to it. Sorry, my cat is distracting me. I keep listening to it every single day. I don't ever get sick of it. Like I just listen to it on repeat and repeat and repeat. I love pretty much every single one of the songs. I'm trying to think of which one's my favorite. I really like Call It What You Want. I like New Year's Day. I like, I just like them all. Like seriously, I can't get enough. I'm also going to her concert in May and I am so excited. I'm going to like the first show of hers. So that should be pretty fun. I can't wait. Although I don't want that day to even be over. So. I kind of can't wait. The camera just shut off on me because I think I've been talking for too long. So hopefully it didn't cut anything off. 
Um, but anyway, so Breaking Bad and Taylor Swift, that's pretty much all I have for lifestyle favorites. Um, favorite movies, I really haven't been too, too blown away by any movies from 2017. At least that I can think of. I'm sure there's some. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to my channel if you haven't already. The button's just right down below. And you can also tap that little bell to give you notifications. Yeah, I think that's it. I will be back next week with a new video. I thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all and I will see you next time. Bye!